common sense isn't all that common, it turns out. We run up against these cognitive biases. Your brain is interested in saving energy, and so when it encounters a new situation, a novel situation, it's usually looking at past experiences and prior knowledge as a quick shortcut to resolve this situation. You know, we dispense with the here and now, and we go direct to the conclusions. But the problem is that often we fail to see the big picture. I'll give you an example. There's a riddle that says, Mary's mother has four daughters, April, May, June, and, now most of us, the shortcut is we see a quick pattern, April, May, and June, we want to say July. But that's not the answer, because the full picture of the question, which requires more mental energy to process, was Mary's mother has four daughters. April, May, June, and obviously Mary, because she's Mary's mother. But that requires looking at a bigger picture. It requires more cognitive engagement. It's more tiring. We're anchoring ourselves to previous experiences, our stereotypes, our upbringing, our socialization, our cultural operating systems. And this prior knowledge base is coloring, informing, tinging our encounter with the present moment which prevents us from really addressing the present moment and looking at all of the elements in that present moment. And I think that is fascinating. Just because the simplest explanation tends to be the right one doesn't mean it's always the right one. And it doesn't mean that we should go into a situation assuming that we're going to know that the simplest explanation is going to be it. Because the world is unpredictable and the world is chaotic and quantum physics is showing that reality is ultimately just a bunch of probabilities. And the more we know, really, the more we know we don't know. And so maybe that's really the, the best advice when it comes to common sense.